Hello everybody from Tulum. I don't know what order I'm posting these videos in, but in case you missed it or the next video that's gonna come out, uh, we gave a little tour and had a little chat about our new space in Tulum, which we are so excited about coming to an Airbnb near you, but also our forever vacay spot from uh, here on out. <laughs> but I'm just so thrilled to be here, so happy to be here. Like it is just insane. And so naturally I had to test out the new get ready with me spot because this is where I'm gonna be sitting and filming videos whenever we come here in the future. So say hello to the new bed. She's beautiful, she's cozy. And because it's a loft, we have giant windows and just getting all the natural light so you guys can just see how pale I am now, officially. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that I was gonna be putting um, a tan on because I normally do when we come here, but that hasn't happened. So I packed my deeper shades, so that's okay. We're just gonna roll with it. Um, I'm still pretty much just rolling with the house labs, but um, I wanted to get ready with you guys and have a little chat, obviously, and just, you know, utilize the new space and get ready together. And it's funny because we've been here for a couple of days, but this is actually the first time that I've opened my makeup bag. I have not gotten ready once. I have just been basking in my sweat like I normally do. And I kind of thought it would be nice to have a little chat about that because I feel like specifically in the content creator space, the social media space, there's so much pressure to like, do the most when you are on vacay and going to unwind and get some sun. And I just feel like Dan and I do the complete opposite. Like whenever we come to Tulum or other places like it, I feel like I just enter full sloth mode and I just lay and I soak in all of the vitamin D. And the last thing that I wanna do is get ready and put makeup on and like be in a hot sticky outfit, you know? And I feel like online there's so much pressure to do so. And listen, some people love it. I totally get it. Like even when I was here in Tulum on my bachelorette, you know, we had our theme nights, so we were all bedazzled up and it can be so much fun to like get dressed up, put something sparkly or colorful on and have a cute little date night out. And that's so fine, which is what Dan and I are doing tonight. But especially when I'm like going to the pool, going to the beach, like I am so sweaty. This is not news to you if you've been on my channel for a long time. <laughs> I am the sweatiest being alive and that is only amplified in hotter weather. So when I see people with like a fresh blowout going to the pool or the beach, I just think, oh, you must be one of those very remarkable lucky people who don't experience sweat because I could never. <laughs> and so for my friends out there, if you're watching and you are like me and you sometimes feel a little bit stressed by how little effort you seemingly do when you are in hot weather or on vacation, just know that I feel you, I am right there with you. And seeing people in full bedazzled blowouts and makeup at the pool or a beach club does stress me out because I simply cannot partake in that lifestyle. I will simply melt away. But as for the hair, I really need to explore some like funky festival style, fun summery updos because my hair just isn't it. I just washed my hair and gave it a quick little blow dry and it is like a crispy, fluffed up, frizzy mess. It's crazy. And so I pinned it back just so I could have my sanity while we're doing our makeup together here. But I also wanted to show you guys how I'm doing my mermaid waves because I posted, I don't know what video I had my little mermaid waves in, but I had so many requests to do a tutorial. So for those of you who are here for the hair portion, you can skip to, to this part of the video and we'll get to that after, but I just needed to put some makeup on my face first so I could feel a little bit, a little bit fabulous before we dive into the hair. So makeup first, hair next. Now, usually when I travel to warmer weather places, um, I do pack a very different looking makeup bag, but I actually kept my makeup bag pretty much the same. I'm still using the House Labs foundation. I'm using my Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, and then I have my little Tom Ford palette, which I'm trying to make my way through. And again, all of these shades that I brought, uh, I brought because I thought I'd be putting my <laughs> self tan on. And yeah, normally I opt for much lighter makeup and I do the least, but because I'm really not putting my makeup on during the day and I'm not putting my makeup on to like go to the pool or the beach or anything. I pretty much just kept it the same because I was like, you know what? Like if I'm going out for dinner or going out at night, if I'm going inside and the place is air conditioned, like it doesn't really matter. I don't need to treat my makeup differently. Maybe I want to do some different colors. I always bring like picante with me in case I want to do something spicy and orange. You know, it kind of depends on what you're feeling. But other than like absolutely packing on the SPF, I pretty much kept it the same this time around. So my makeup look is not all that different, but maybe I'll go in with a, like a lighter hand as I'm applying it or I'll apply less powder because I want my face to have a little bit more flexibility as I am sweating the entire thing off. 
but I've also just really been loving my makeup routine so much. I was chatting with, I was chatting with someone about this recently, but how I've kind of like with the House Labs foundation, the Dior foundation, Armani Luminous Silk, over the last few months, I've definitely been embracing a more full coverage makeup lifestyle, more so than ever. Like I actually packed my little Chanel Le Beige tint because this is the shade B30. This is my self tan shade. So I packed that in case I wanted a lighter everyday option for my base makeup but i've just kind of been really embracing that like flawless fully done makeup like it's still very much a natural glam i'm not caking it on it's not heavy but just wearing more coverage i've really been enjoying and i feel like these few options that have been working well for me like the house labs foundation they just last all day and my makeup is not falling apart <laughs> by the end of the night and i think that's what a lot of people don't necessarily discuss when it comes to like the lighter makeup or the clean girl makeup aesthetic like that's not long lasting makeup and we know this to be true and i just found myself so often especially when i was going to events or if i was traveling i just found like i looked really haggard by the end of the night and i didn't necessarily love that so i just thought you know what i'm just going to embrace this more full coverage makeup, really make an effort to set it in and make my makeup last so that I'm doing my makeup once and I don't have to worry about it or think about it. I just know it's gonna last all day long and stay until the end of time, but still in a lighter, more natural way, you know? Sorry, there are just hairs everywhere. And that is because I am on a dirty floor. We have not yet purchased cleaning supplies. And that's actually because we're not technically staying here yet. Technically this place wasn't done for us to stay in it. So we're actually staying at the neighboring apartment complex, uh, but hopefully the next time, well, yes, the next time we come here, it will be ready for us to stay in. But just in case those of you judge and you're like, ew, you're staying in a dirty unit. No, we're not actually staying here. But did I carry all my crap here so I could film this video? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take my Dior Brow Styler. This is in the shade Blonde. Also, sorry, that was the Nude Sticks. Naughty and Spice Blush. I had a little mini from one of the little mini kits, which was lovely for traveling. So that's the blush that I put on. And I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows. And we'll see if these brows stay on even through my sweat. <laughs> I also packed the new Anastasia Brow Gel. Whoa, whoa. See if this will also withstand the the heat and the sweat. For my lip liner, this is the Fresh Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil that I purchased during the Sephora sale. And wow, what a difference. My old one was definitely expired. This is so much creamier and more delightful and easy to apply. I had basically been rubbing a stick of chalk on my lips prior to this. Yeah, it's such a nice color, very nice natural color. Now, I really, honestly, when I am in the warmth, when I'm on vacay, the last thing that I wanna do is worry about taking my mascara off at the end of the night, also because I am so sweaty. I just don't even wanna bother with anything. I don't even know if I wanna put anything on my eyes at all. I did pack a brown mascara, so I could put a little bit of that on. The one thing I forgot to pack was my powder bronzer, and sometimes I like to do that on my eyes, but I don't know, maybe I'll take a little bit of this Victoria Beckham Signature eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of this light cream just to set in any of the concealer that might be remaining on my eyelid, just so it doesn't crease. And then I can take a little bit of the brown from in here. Just the lightest little bit and I'll just fluff that. Wow, so pigmented. I haven't used these in so long. I'll just fluff that on the lash line. Just for a little bit of something, something. I think for the sake of filming, for the sake of the video, maybe I will put on just a little bit of brown mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash. Just put a tiny little layer on to give something, something to my lashes. Dan's gonna have a whole new vacay wife by the time we're done here. <laughs> The staff back at our hotel, uh, they aren't gonna recognize me. They're gonna say, ma'am, who are you? I'm like, it's me, I'm just in a disguise. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's my popped popcorn version of myself. For those of you who saw that TikTok, thank you. Cool, a little bit of mascara. Now, I almost never use this highlight, but I'm just gonna dip into this creamy little highlight here and just put that on the tops of the cheekbones. Glowing. And then I'm gonna set this in. Got my little mini of my Benefit Professional Setting Spray. And while that's soaking in and doing its thing, I'm also gonna put on the Armani number two Prisma lip gloss. Lip glass, lip glass. Love this color. And the reason why I'm doing pink is because I have this little, I have a little pink, this cutie little bodysuit top that I was gonna put on, which is why I made my whole look kind of centered around the pink. But you guys, I've got a crazy burn, a crazy burn. Just 
obviously something like wiped my sunscreen off my chest. The rest of me is pale, but I just have this wild and burn right here. And it just shows it so much and makes it look so pink. So I was thinking of just keeping this on for the rest of the day, which isn't as spicy and exciting as the original outfit that I had planned. But you know, sometimes that just happens and we have to roll with it. So that's my very light, natural makeup. I have my cutie little shell earrings. Now let's go to the bathroom and I'll show you how I've been doing my big beachy waves. You guys, Dan kindly pointed out that there is an outlet next to the mirror down here so I can do my hair in the light with you. We don't have to go in the dark bathroom with the fan, bless. Okay, so for my little waves, it's truly so easy. This is a three barrel waver, the crimper, you know. Uh, I used to have like the regular sized one, a smaller one. The one thing that I had bought, I bought this a few years ago. I was obsessed with this. I have talked about this at length years past <laughs> on my channel for sure, but I just kind of rediscovered it. I re-pulled it out. That's what the sunshine does. I'm like, oh, give me all my beachy things. Things. but this is a jumbo waiver. I bought it from a brand called Mermaid. It's truly the simplest thing. I'll show you guys what I do, but really it's just this. I just run this through my hair. It didn't look so cute back in the day when I had shorter hair, but now that my hair is longer, it definitely works much easier. <laughs> But sorry, my hair has just lost the plot right now. It's so naughty and like not okay. I put K18 in it and I feel like I've been overdoing it. It just feels like crispy and not great. So I'm hoping that with styling it and melting it a little bit, it'll just kind of work itself out. But anyway, I've pinned half my hair up. I always split my hair into quarters and all I do is take big chunks and I run the waver through. Boop, boop, boop. I set the temperature to 280. It can go much hotter than that, but I definitely don't need it at the hottest temperature. My hair accepts the lower temperature, no problem. You could totally do the heatless version of this and just put your hair in braids and sleep in it. You could do heatless curls if you wanted. It's just never quite the same. So even though I don't love to, you know, boil my hair in heat like this, sometimes it's just so quick and easy to do and it also lasts really well. Like I can wear this up to like three days fully on my hair, which is pretty crazy. So if we've got a fresh hair wash, no problem. That's one side done. I'm gonna do the other side the same. I have no idea what your visual of that is, but once the bottom is done, I just literally do the same thing on the top half. Sometimes I just take a clip and pin the pieces that I've already done away so that they don't get tangled up. Now the only thing I do slightly differently is on the top, I'll kind of just give it a little wiggle and I'll pull it down so there's not like a harsh line or dent at the top. You know what I mean? I just wiggle that top piece and then I move down. Hopefully the visual of that is better than me trying to explain that. That's the only difference I do once I reach the top is I just don't go straight to the top and I just give it a little, little wiggle. So when I do that little wiggle at the top, it's not like a harsh line. It just kind of has a nice, a nice little wave. This one was a little bit sideways, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna really quickly breeze through the other side. Okay, that's the other side done. Literally just the exact same thing. And then I just give it a good little zhuzh around, kind of separate the waves a little bit, shed bald all over the floor. Literally takes me five minutes. It is the easiest hairstyle. <laughs> Ever. And like I said, it lasts very well. Like I have fully put my hair up into a bun. I've gone and played tennis, taken it out and the waves will still remain. If I have to touch anything up, I might just have to like redo these little front pieces, but the rest just stay so nicely. And it's very easy breezy little mermaid wavy hair look. So going into spring and summer, obviously you're gonna be seeing me rocking this hairstyle a lot. And I know this tutorial wasn't all that exciting, not all that insightful, but you guys asked for it, so. Here I am, here is how I do this hair look. And now we are all ready to go for our cute little, our cute little final night or little date night here in Tulum. So thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed the look. This is my, my little vacay version, my little vacay beauty moment, even though um, I am still so pale that I am currently disappearing in the sunlight. There we go. Thank you all so much for getting ready with me nonetheless, and I hope you're all having a beautiful day. See you all so soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!